Hi everybody. This is the beautiful stone dam at Jack London's Lake. It's over a century old and though the workings of time and nature have diminished the lake itself, the story of the lake is pure Jack London. The dam was designed by Jack and built in 1914 under the supervision of Jack's stepsister and ranch manager Eliza London Shepherd. Jack and Eliza had recognized the need for more water to fulfill their farming plans for Beauty Ranch. The dam's location is a gentle hollow at the headwaters of a natural drainage now called Kohler Creek. It's an ideal place to capture and store water and then direct it downhill for irrigation. Jack also saw the lake's potential for recreation as his addition of a log boathouse with dressing rooms and a floating dock indicate. In addition to the confluence of small streams in this basin, Jack and Eliza tapped Wildwater Creek, now known as Graham Creek, which crosses Beauty Ranch up the mountain. They ran a pipe downhill to feed the lake. That's when the trouble started. A few of Jack and Charmian's downstream neighbors opposed the project from the beginning, despite Eliza's assurances that Wildwater would still have plenty of flow to meet their needs. The project went ahead to completion, but not without unpleasantness. In addition to its obvious beauty and usefulness, Jack's Lake inspired the first water rights trial in California. Shortly before his death in 1916, Jack went to court in Santa Rosa to argue his case. Always handy with a narrative, Jack prevailed. After the decision, he invited the neighbors up to Beauty Ranch for a barbecue and tour of the lake. The plaintiffs agreed that perhaps they'd been hasty. In the 1930s, Eliza and her son Irving Shepherd established a guest ranch where, for many years, visitors swam, boated, and picnicked here. Generations of Sonoma Valley residents enjoyed good times at the lake that was. Today, volunteers and staff from Jack London Partners are teaming with California State Parks to manage vegetation and work towards stabilizing the dam and drain structures and possibly towards a full restoration of Jack's Lake. I have my own fond memories of sitting right here in the late 1960s, clear water up to my knees, the lake full of laughing friends. I would love to see that water return.